Gregory Kravid, you are four days away. Are you excited? Give us an inside scoop. I think I'm gonna get really cold. <laughs> wow, so like as I was like packing, I was thinking about the fact that like like best case scenario, worst case scenario, like best case scenario we're in a cabin that's like warm for like a week. Worst case scenario, we're literally in a cabin that's freezing. So I was watching this video on how to pack efficiently. They say you roll your shirts instead of fold them. Do you need flip flops for the shower? Or no. Oh. I guess it's not really like that. I don't think it's like a high volume. Yeah, shower. <laughs> because it's not really like. That. In 2017, Northrop Grumman engineers partnered with a team of scientists from San Diego Zoo Global and traveled to the Arctic on an important mission of conservation, mapping ice formations in polar bear habitats. I've watched this engineering team kind of achieve this, this goal of, of getting this working hardware and taking this Northrop Grumman expertise and this technology up into the Arctic and operating it in this just environment that wants to kill you. The, the formation of this team was really unique. Um, it, it kind of started organically. The team is made up of Charlie Welch. He's the team lead, the kind of brainchild of this whole thing. We've got Greg Kravitz, who does a lot of the electrical interface between hardware, cameras, the sensors. Chris Panescu, who's doing the mechanical design. And then we've got Victor Wang, and he's our software expert. I, I couldn't be more excited about this. Like, how often do you get sent to the Arctic on like this amazing adventure? as part of your job. When we met with the zoo researchers the first time, they gave us a problem. They wanted to figure out when the ice would freeze before the polar bears could go out on the ice to go hunt. And the longer it took for the ice to freeze, the longer those polar bears would starve. Clearly, an issue. With a five-band multispectral camera, extreme resolution photography, redundant GPS systems, and radar and laser altimeters. The team has put together one of the most advanced small unmanned aerial vehicles in the world. We've really pushed the limits of pushing the price and the size and the amount of sensors that we could put on this aircraft. No one has ever done it before and what we're doing is really going to provide exceptional value to the zoo researchers as they're gathering data to save the polar bear. So flying a system like this in the Arctic is like nowhere else in the world. You know, we go out to flight test every single week to make sure that we have our flight testing down so that when we're out there in the snow and the cold and the wind, that we know exactly what to do every single time. It's crazy to think, like, I was packing up late Thursday night and then I come out here and it's, it's tomorrow. I just look back to, like, we're all sitting in that room in Escondido. And we're meeting, for many of us, was meeting the customer for the first time, hearing about the mission and realizing this is real, and they were crazy enough to send us to the Arctic in November. We had, what, four months? Now it's four months later. <laughs> we're going tomorrow. Oh my god. It's just incredible, and just like, just making this project happen. We realized, like, the spirit of innovation. We put together a bunch of cool items and made it work in a new way. We did it fast. We did as a team stay together. Incredible. As you can see, we have our completed payload pod ready to ship. We just need to attach the rest on. of them. Cool. Being able to work on technology to really drive the field and help the field of conservation. You know, we see a lot of issues worldwide where technology could be a help to either people in need or wildlife species in need. And we're really excited to be able to offer a system that's gonna help lead the way into offering high tech for conservation. Overall, our team feels really confident of what we've done so far and where we're going in the next couple months before we go up to the Arctic. Man, can you... Can you believe we're here? I can't. I honestly like literally one day away from being up in the Arctic. <laughs> like we're about to go do some hardcore science. Uh, <laughs>